in all your life, you will have only one opportunity to die. And so tonight, I want you to consider your death and the impression you will leave behind. It's so important. Your last words will be your last words. The final chance for you to correct the gross impression you've been leaving of yourself all over town. So here I am tonight to give you a few helpful hints. One, you don't want to be caught unawares like Washington Irving who said, well, I must arrange my pillows for another night and then died. Or Lewis Carroll who said, take away my pillows, I shall need them no more. Pillows, 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 all this talk about pillows. When it's curtains, boys, you don't want to talk about pillows. So rule number one is forget the pillows. Be uncomfortable. It's worth it. Two, take a good subject. The nature of the beyond, which you will be in a better position than most to appreciate, is very good. Thomas Alva Edison told us that. He said, it is very beautiful over there. We've all felt reassured ever since. Charles W. Eliot, the educator, said, I see mother, which may not be everyone's ideal heaven, you understand, but it suited Charles W., obviously a mama's boy. Three, don't plagiarize too obviously. For example, if you go out saying, it's a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done, it's a far, far better rest that I go to that I have ever known. You run the risk that someone will remember the book or the movie and you'll be checking out as a copycat. Four, speak clearly. Make sure your mouth is empty. Remove all tubes if you have to. Have a pleasant, open attitude. Don't be cranky. Henry Gibson was cranky. When his wife told him that he was looking better, he immediately sat up in bed and shouted, on the contrary, and died. And you don't hear people quoting that right and left, do you? And no wonder. So remember what I told you, and you'll go out a winner, ready to join the immortals in more ways than one.